Well hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a quick video where I was going to talk about here I've got my Ram 2022-2500 with the 67 Cummins diesel. And for people that have never owned a diesel before, if you're in a cold climate like we are up here in Michigan, you have to think about a block heater. Now, a lot of people say the truck will start, and in most every condition, the truck will start, but necessarily won't like it and won't necessarily be the best for it. And why do you want to stress out your starter and make it hard on the truck if you can easily plug it in now every Cummins they say he has a block heater in it but you have to buy the cord or just have the um, factory do it's so about a hundred dollar option they will install the cord when you're spending that much that way at least you know you got the proper size cord instead of having to buy it on eBay but either way it's good to have a block heater you know so if it's it's I use my general rule of thumb thunder freezing for us in America that's 32 celsius it would be zero you know if you're at that or below that i like to plug mine in if it's convenient i mean if i'm if i'm out at a at a store or something i'm certainly not going to worry about it but if i'm home if i'm going to go somewhere in a couple hours i will plug it in can you leave it plugged in overnight yes can you leave it plugged in of course i've had um, back in 92 i mean i've had a diesel for a long long time and i've never had an issue with the block heater and i've used mine you know a lot of times just leave it in all night if you don't know when you're going to need your truck there's not much else you can do if you do know you're on a schedule you could get a beefy timer make sure you know it's appropriate for the wattage it's got to be a beefy one yeah or like i do like right now if i know i'm going somewhere it's in two three hours i'll plug it in but it doesn't you know it only hurts your pocketbook if you leave it plugged in extra i figured it's about probably about a buck 50 i did the math a while ago it's not huge you know a buck something a day obviously if you did that every day of the winter here it would add up but so i'll plug it in a couple hours ahead of time right now we're about 20 degrees would it start fine without it of course you know but this way you get in you get some quick heat i mean you have to realize having a diesel it, it's like it's like almost a hobby it's kind of like there's extra work involved there's extra little it's kind of oh i guess it's kind of like um smoking a pipe you know you can put a cigarette in your mouth and light it up but a pipe you know there's more to it there's how you put the, the tobacco in and how you pack it in it, there's more ritual there's more to it that kind of comes into the enjoyment of it you know it's what you know you're not just going to use like a butene light you can but a lot of people like to use a wood match and you strike the match and you let the sulfur or whatever burn off then you, you know so it's like all these kind of like with the diesel engine you know you gotta think about plugging them in um, you think about letting it warm up for a little bit before you go. I even, when I come back, I let it uh, cool down for about a minute. And here's another nitpicky thing, and I'm sure it's controversial, but when I plug it in, and it's been plugged in for a long time, I will unplug it a lot of times, a, a few minutes before I go, because if you think about it, I mean, the, the heater element itself is, is hot, and then you're going to hit it with some cold, you know, um, fluid or whatever, going right into it i've never burned one out i've heard people that have but why take the chance anyways you know if like i'm not going i'm not saying i would never you know i'm not going to use my truck if i need to go somewhere right then and there because i want to let my block heater cool off for a minute i mean it's ridiculous but if i have the time you know if i'm poking around usually thankfully um things are I like to do things unrushed. I hate being rushed. The older I get, the least I like being rushed. I like to kind of take my time at things. And so that's just some of the things I do. But if you are not going to um, get yours factory 
installed. So I will show you where mine, they installed it as I plug mine in and show you what it looks like. Mine is just sitting right there. It's one of those things, you know, you want to have enough slack where you can enough slack where you can manipulate it but not so much slack that's gonna be dragging on the ground as you're going down the road so i think that's a happy medium of course you want to have a beefy extension cord depending on your run i just have a little pigtail here coming out of the garage door but bigger is always better when you're talking extension cords and these are nice because then you can <coughs> well if it's not paint coated you can always see the little light showing you that the power is in, indeed getting to it there now you can see the low light better but she runs good so far um trying to get the 500 mile break-in period so we can start towing and we're almost there should be there today i think so can't wait to get on the road and get her working a little i need to get it to the uh car wash but i've got hot water in the garage i'm thawing my hose out we've got hot water plumbed in the garage but I left some water in my hose. I wasn't even thinking I was just going to use the car wash. But it would be convenient to be able to wash her down right here. Just squirt it down in the driveway with that hot water. So That is on the agenda. Anyways, let me know. Would you consider buying a diesel? Is it just too much work? There's just something about I mean, you know, I love my diesel. Um, I had a 7.3 in my Ford before. Um, I love this Cummins. Runs like a dream. Would you pay extra for diesel knowing that you're going to get extra back on the uh, back end of the deal when you go to sell it? Is it too much work for the extra efficiency? I guess diesel guys, just you love to hear that diesel. You love that power, that torque. Um, the sound, the smell, would you consider a diesel? Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, thanks for watching.